here to show you the new mosaic recipe template that was in the mystery box. This is a great geometric pattern for so many different uses. You can fit a lot of photos on one page with all the different shapes that are in here. You can use paper and photos. It makes a great statement page um, or a spotlight page or a title page for your book. Maybe you're transitioning to a new event or a special thing in your album and you wanna make a really special page, you can use the recipe templates to just make something pop. So the tools you're gonna to need um, to use the recipe template will be a pencil, scissors, photo labeling pencil, and your multi-purpose clips. These make it really easy just to go ahead and attach your paper to the template so that it doesn't slide around when you are tracing. So there's a lot of different shapes that you can do and you can do a combination of things. But just to give you some examples, um, I used this shape here. I just traced at the triangles and then you can see, um, you know, then I just cut off the triangles. Oops. You, you can just cut off the triangles. When I was tracing, I went all the way to the edge. You could just trace out the inside um, with your pencil and you could just cut that with your scissors. I liked it because I could just flip it over and I've already got a new design. The other ideas you could use with the template, let me take this off, is um, you've got a lot of different pieces here. So you've got some longer pieces that you could trace. You've got a diamond piece here. You can see it just fits right over. So you could do that. You can make the diamond. You also have squares. Um, you've got these kind of pieces here. You've got your little um, and arrows. You can do a lot of different things on this. So let me show you some of the, the ideas that I did using the mosaic template. So the first one I did, um, I cut out that larger piece, just like I had shown before, and I cut the triangles off. I then cut the triangles in half to make them these smaller pieces. I laid all of that down on a background piece of paper. Then I added these strips here and then the green parts in the middle. So what I do like to do with these templates, especially if I know I'm gonna be using a photo, is I like to trace the paper along the outside of the template the paper along the outside of the template, and then the photo on the inside of the template. So I use my pencil for the paper part, and then on the photo part, I use my photo labeling pencil because I can wipe that off with a soft cloth or a photo polishing cloth. Here's another idea I used. Still cut off the triangles, but th this time I kept the triangles, uh, I just kept them full size. And I just put it on, I just taped everything down on the back of the packaging that came with the paper because it's a great piece of white cardstock. Then I went ahead and just did two strips here of paper that followed these lines here. I just did two strips and tucked them under. And then I made all of the squares and then I added the little um, arrows. So this one is a fun page to showcase some of those sunset photos that I loved. Now, if you um, are kind of wondering how, how I can make this page into a double page spread, you can. You can definitely cut out a, a template 
And this one, we just went ahead and did the outside, outside edges all the way around, cut that out, and then we just cut it in half at the points to make a two page spread. So you could do it this way, you could flip flop and have this way, you know, you could do that. You could even cut it in quarters and do it in the corners. Here's another style with that same idea using the Love Wins paper pack. It's really easy to do. And then you can just put your photos, you know, right on the page and have um, many photos on your on your page and then you're using the template for two pages. So just a few little tips um, and tricks here. I, I liked when I'm tracing these, sometimes so I just save some time, I like to fold my paper. So I'm gonna trace here along the outside on one end and because I'm using a small sheet, I, I don't really need the clips because I want to just use it at the very edge. So I've gone ahead and traced it. And then I'm going to fold my paper over. And then use my scissors to cut the shape. So I have, I'm going to have two different pieces. So we'll just do that really quickly so you can see. Just a little time saver. Okay, and there you go. So now we have two different pieces. So we can just pull our page together and we can just add whatever we want on top of it. So there we go. Lots of fun with this one. So I hope you enjoy it, and I can't wait to see your creations on the virtual crop.